Hey guys, welcome back. Johnny here. And if this is your first time watching, I show you how to make money in the stock market. So if you like that kind of stuff, feel free and subscribe to my channel and click the little bell so you don't miss anything. All right, so I got another great video for you today on Dinbury Resources, Inc., or DNR. Now, I have been watching this company for the last year, and it has had extreme growth. Now, it is up $4.29 in one year, or 416%. Now, this is a, or it still technically is and was a penny stock, so this will be in my penny stock playlist, where I also have other penny stocks that I watch and own. Now, to get into it right away, Dinberry is basically an independent oil and natural gas company. Its activities include exploitation, drilling, and extraction. And basically right now, their market cap is $2.39 billion. They have a lot of money to work with. They have close to 900 employees. They're headquartered in Plano, Texas, and they were founded in 1951. So they have been around for some time. They have a really awesome average volume of just shy of 10 million they are not paying a dividend yield currently at the moment and they have a very low PE ratio of eleven dollars and thirty cents I love low PE ratios usually lower than 20 um, I'll make an exception on some that are in the 40s and 50s but definitely no higher than that on the PE ratios moving on price paid on Robinhood the average price per paid it was saying was three dollars and sixty six cents but again guys a year ago it was barely a dollar stock it's forty five percent higher right now to buy in but that's not that bad now ten percent of analysts are saying to buy this stock eighty percent are saying to hold on to it and ten percent are saying to sell it and let me get into reasons why that is now Unlike traditional ENPs, Denberry is not relying on risky dry powder exploitation or exploration to add reserves. The production response of CO2 flooding is more stable and predictable. Now, Denberry's Jackson Dome property in Mississippi provides the firm with formidable cost advantages over the CO2 sources for its tertiary oil recovery operations. Also, Denberry's production declines very slowly, and the firm can get by with minimum capital during commodity down cycles, which is great. Now, on the other end, on the sell side, they're saying that Denberry's natural CO2 reserves are finite, as more of the firm needs are met by man-made purchased supplies. Operational expenses could rise, eroding profitability. Now, also, they're saying that Denberry has yet to develop certain projects and given curtain capital constraints it could take so long to do so that there are essentially valueless this is off of the same exact company Morningstar they like to give both ends of the story to buy and sell and that's why I leave it up to you to decide um, now as you can see the growth since 2016 their earnings has actually been positive for the last two years they are now earning 13 cents per share that is amazing for this small uh, well it's not small for this bigger company um, and for this small share price as you can see here June 6th I had bought one share at 428 along with some other shares I bought when I was a little bit lower I was like averaging up as I went buying more and I ended up selling all three of my sh shares for $12.21 and believe I made like a $3 profit which was pretty awesome now let's go over to the street rating I love using the street rating I go and use them all the time you can go check it out yourself go to the street.com you don't have to sign up they're not paying me to tell you this I just really like to use this site you put your email in they send you a report I got it on August 26th and I'm doing the video just a few days later so it's always updated it's really awesome now right off the bat you guys see this huge dip right here now this is a two-year chart so a year ago it was down here to a dollar that's where I started buying in a couple positions and adding up 
Now, it was in a sell rating for like ever since a little bit before 2016. They do they are now in a hold rating since August 23rd, literally just about a week ago. And I could actually zoom in and show you that little piece of orange right there, which is now a hold. That's good. We want to be able to have a hold um, rating because that means it's showing potential and also that it's moving up. I think it was in a D or a D minus when it was in sale. Now it's at a C minus if it continues to go up and have uh, earnings per share increase as well as revenues increase, they will slowly build their way up to the buy list. So with that said, this video will probably be categorized as a penny stock, but also be in my hold playlist. If you like to see other companies that I have done that are a hold, you're more than welcome to do that. I also have a strong buy series that you could look at as well. Anyways, let's get back into this. Now, it does have extreme potential for growth in the future and let me show you why. Now, the revenue growth is higher than the industry average of 33%. Since the same quarter one year prior, revenues rose 48.5%. That is really awesome, which helped improve the earnings per share. Now, powered by this trickle effect of revenue growth being higher, earnings per share being higher, it also helped uh, the strong earnings growth of 75% also helped with other factors for the stock. Now, the stock has surged 386% over the past year, which is literally ridiculous. If I would have thrown, um, you know, $1,000 into it, I'd be looking at around $4,000, $5,000. Same with, you know, buying it at a dollar, selling at $5. It just depends on how much you want to put in. But imagine in one year, you basically quadrupled your money. Now, moving on, um, company's current return on equity greatly increased when compared to its ROE compared to last year, and also it has exceeded um, the S&P 500 when it comes to that ROE. Now, their debt-to-equity ratio is a little bit high at 3.16, the current higher than the industry average, but they are helping to bring that down. Um, the quick ratio is at 0 0.40 for those who want to know that. Now, compared to its industry's peers and competition, Dinberry is not doing bad. It is on the higher end of the other companies. I do like DNR far more better than a lot of these other companies, but hey, you're more than welcome to check out these companies as well. If you want me to do a video on any of these, I can too. Real quick recap on their statistics, and you can compare those real quick if you want. Now, stock at a glance. This is why it's a hold. So it only has growth two out of five stars. Total return four and a half out of five stars. Efficiency two out of five. Price volatility one and a half out of five. Solvency a half of a star. And income a half of a star. Now it is a hold, but I wouldn't necessarily not buy this company. Put it in your watch list, maybe buy one for five dollars, see what happens and go from there. Do some more research on it if you want to. But I already own this company and I believe um, my wife does as well. Good company to get involved with. Now this stock net worth or stockholder equity has greatly increased to 72%. That means a lot of people have their eye on this company right now. And if more and more people buy into this company, they're going to have more money to work with and their profits will rise as well. That is why I believe this company is a hold, but it's also a great penny stock to get involved in. Now, it probably won't be a penny stock for much longer, so you better get involved and try to get at least a few shares while you can. With that said, guys, I'm going to leave you with another uh, with the screenshot of the price and just the percent total return and just let you know guys if you want me to do more videos like this on any type of company let me know leave it a uh, comment in the description uh, or leave me a comment 
and tell me what the ticker symbol is and I'll do research on that company and make a video like this for you. Also, if you like this video, guys, please smash the like button. It really does help with everything that I'm doing here and share it to people who you might think this would be helpful to. And remember, if you haven't subscribed yet, you should. And if you haven't clicked that little bell, you also should. I upload videos every single day and I probably will not stop doing that for a few years. Um, I like doing what I do. It's a lot of fun. I get to learn about a lot of different companies that I've either never heard about or that I have heard about and want to do more research on. So with that said, you guys have a great day.